noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. We love the Psalms because they give voice to every emotion that human beings have. Are you at a place of joy in your life? Well, if you are, then perhaps Psalm 34 is for you. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. If you're in a time of danger and fear, well then perhaps Psalm 23 is for you. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Jesus is at an emotionally trying time as well, and so the psalm that he quotes is Psalm 22, often recognized as a messianic psalm, the psalm talking about the anointed one of God. In Psalm 22, we hear, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The psalmist here is complaining to God about how distant he feels that God is from him, even in the moment of his greatest need. Is it any wonder that Jesus quotes this psalm because that is Jesus' experience on the cross? When you and I are at our place of greatest need, we have a choice. We can run away from God or we can go to God. And Jesus here takes his greatest pain, his greatest questions about the presence of God in his life at this moment, and instead of running away, he runs too. Later on in Psalm 22, hear these words. For he has not despised or disdained the suffering of the afflicted one. He has not hidden his face from him, but has listened to his cry for help. When we question God's presence in our life, we need to be reminded that just like Jesus, God is still present even in those difficult times. Is it any wonder that after beginning to say this psalm, that Jesus can say with confidence, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Wherever we may be, whatever our life circumstances, God is there and he is ready for us to commit our spirits to him. Let's pray. Lord, there are times where I have felt forsaken too. Help me to call upon you in my heart when I feel there's a great distance between us. And remind me, Lord, that you are always there, no matter what I may be feeling. Help me to remember your place in my life. Amen.